Omsum was stargazing one evening when his eyes landed on Saturn. Its giant rings sparkled like a crown in the sky. Omsum looked back at Earth and wondered, why doesn't Earth have rings like Saturn? Curious to know, he set off on a space adventure. He reached the Earth's orbit and floated nearby. Suddenly, Aumsum felt Earth's strong pull tugging at him. He realized that if rocks or ice drifted close to Earth, gravity would pull them inward. Instead of staying as rings, they would burn up in the atmosphere as shooting stars or crash down as meteorites. Then, a glowing portal appeared, carrying Aumsum back to the early days of Earth. He saw huge chunks of rock and dust swirling after a giant collision. For a moment, it looked like Earth might form rings. But as time passed, the pieces clumped together, growing larger and larger until they formed one big companion. The Moon! Long ago, icy moons or comets wandered too close to the giant planet. Saturn's powerful gravity tore them apart inside the Roche limit, a region where pieces cannot join back into a moon. The icy pieces stayed scattered, spreading out into the bright rings that still circle Saturn today. Omsum <laughs> finally understood the truth. Omsum was sitting quietly on a bench when suddenly a strange sound echoed from his belly. Huh? Shocked, he wondered. Why does our stomach growl? Determined to find out, he shrank and entered his own body. He landed inside the stomach. The place looked almost empty, with only thin traces of food clinging to the walls. Around him, large muscles formed thick folds, huh? and they were beginning to move restlessly. Amsum watched as they tightened and relaxed, pushing the space into motion. Suddenly, the brain commanded the stomach to get ready for food. The walls obeyed. They squeezed and churned strongly, just like they did after a meal. Amsum stumbled as the powerful muscles rippled around him, shaking the empty chamber. Air and leftover digestive juices sloshed together noisily, creating echoes that bounced from wall to wall. Omsum covered his ears as the growls rumbled all around him. He followed the vibrations downward and saw the small intestine also joining in. The walls of the intestine pushed and squeezed, sending ripples forward. This process, called peristalsis, was the body's way of moving food along. But with no food present, it only pushed air and liquid, creating even more rumbling noises. Amsum finally understood the reason. The body was basically preparing itself for food. With a gentle leap, Amsum came out of his body, smiling proudly. Amsum was sipping a fizzy drink when suddenly a loud burp escaped from his mouth. Embarrassed, Amsum wondered, why do we burp? Determined to know, Amsum shrank and entered his own body. He landed inside the stomach. The place was busy, bubbling with liquid and food. Around him, waves of muscles were churning and mixing everything together. But what caught his attention were pockets of air rising up through the mix. Amsum tried to find out where the bubbles came from. Some had entered when he swallowed food too quickly. Others had formed from the fizzy drink, releasing carbon dioxide gas inside the stomach. Suddenly, the brain sensed the pressure and sent a command. The stomach walls tightened, and the esophageal sphincter valve at the top of the stomach opened briefly. Amsum stumbled as the trapped air shot upward through the food pipe. It roared through the throat and with a final burst, escaped through the mouth. Huh? Outside, it was heard as a burp. As another bubble rose, Omsum clung to the moving walls. He saw that burping wasn't random or useless. It was the body's way of getting rid of extra air that didn't belong in the stomach. 
If the air stayed trapped, it would only cause pressure and discomfort. Leaping back outside, Omsum smiled proudly 